All right, so glad to be with you today. We're going to be in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians, and we're, uh, this is one of those very special books. We'll be looking at verse chapter 2, Ephesians 2, verse 8 through 10. But the, the church in Ephesus was a powerful church. It was a church, if you've ever studied and read through the New Testament letters of Paul and Peter and John, this book is just a little different. You know, you read all of them, they're kind of right around here, and then you read Ephesians, and it's way up here. And you say, why did they get to hear about such lofty matters? Why didn't Paul have to take them through the basics? Why did he get to go right towards the more, you know, mature themes? It's because they did the word. Um, they were living it out. And, and it's a big deal. Uh, Paul will say in Hebrews that, uh, you know, to the Jewish believers, he'll say, you need milk and not solid food because you haven't used what you've learned. And that's the secret. Christianity in America has predominantly become what we know in our minds, but, but that's not how God estimates maturity. He estimates it based on what we do and what we use. You know, use it or lose it. Big deal. And here in Ephesians, such a great book. First three chapters is about doctrine. Last three chapters is about duty. In chapter 2, uh, verse 8 through 10, not only are these the greatest verses in the Bible, you know, in the book of Ephesians, but uh, these, this particular verse is probably top five verse in the Bible. This would be one I would implore you to memorize. Ephesians 2 verse 8, Paul says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. The word grace is kedis in the, in the Greek. It's, it's, it's the root word of beauty. Uh, it, it comes from the root word of beauty in the, in the Greek language. And charis is unearned, undeserved favor. God's riches at Christ's expense. That's what grace is. That God, mercy is that God doesn't give us what we deserve. Mercy. Grace is God gives us what we don't deserve. Mercy is your kid deserves a spanking. You don't give them a spanking. Grace is your kid deserves a spanking, you give him a Snickers bar. That's grace. That's what God gives us. Not only does he not punish us, but he blesses us because he loves us. And, and Paul here says salvation is by grace, for by grace you have been saved, sozo, rescued from the fires of hell, rescued from our sins, rescued from the enemy's clutches on us. For by grace you have been sozo, saved through faith, pistis, it's it's putting our convictions, our trust, no longer in our own righteousness, but in the, in the goodness of God and the righteousness of God. It's faith. You, you walk by faith every day. People go, I can't believe you, you, you walk by faith. I walk by facts. No, you don't. You sit on the chair when you wake up in the morning, believing the chair is going to hold you. You get in the car, you turn on the engine by faith. Right now, you have faith that the American economy is going to hold together because a couple of people tell you uh, the, the Bible is much more secure than the American economy, much more secure than the government systems, much more secure than our, uh, than our military. The, the Bible is God's word. It does not fail. It's not actually very hard to have faith in God. It's, it's easier than anything else. And we put our faith and trust in Jesus who was crucified, buried, and on the third day rose from the dead. And his tomb in Jerusalem is still empty, folks. For by grace you have been saved through faith. That not of yourselves, it's a gift from God. Even the faith you put in God, it's a gift from him. Verse 9, not of works, lest anyone should boast. God, you know, nobody's going to get to heaven and say, look what I did. Look how I save myself. Nobody's going to boast. Verse 10, for we are his workmanship. One of the most beautiful verses in the Bible right here. Workmanship is a Greek word, poema. Poema. It's, it's we're his poem. We're his poem. He's writing us. We're his artwork. He's painting you right now. He's making you. He's shaping you. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. You're, you don't even begin to be who you're, who God intended you to be until you've been born again. You've taken that opportunity to have this new lease on life, creating Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. What you're doing today, God already knew. He's with you. Walk these things out. Walk with him. Talk with him. Call out to him. Realize, Lord, I'm saved by grace through faith. Be established. The Bible says in John 10, Jesus says he holds you in the palm of his hand. Take courage because of that truth. Father, I pray, bless your people now. May they walk with you and talk with you and rest in your grace and your mercy today and realize, Lord, all these works you have before them, 
Lord, you've already thought them through. We are your workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which you prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. In Jesus' name, amen.